Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain how Chat GPT writes DAX majors in Power BI for you. If you don't know what Chat GPT is, please watch our detailed video on Chat GPT. You will find a link in the description box. Let us jump to the computer for the demo. So let me show you my data table first. So this is my sales data table. You can see region, country, customer, business segment, category, model, color, sales date, list price, unit price, order quantity, and sales amount. The sales amount is unit price multiplied by order quantity. So I will write uh, some DAX major using chat GPT. So now let me go to chat GPT. So you have to open any browser and you have to type HTTP S slash slash chat dot open AI dot com. So once you will type, you will see this two option sign in. If you are first time user, you have to click on sign up and fill the form and I will click login. So I will sign in with my Gmail account. So now I am on chat GPT homepage. So I will say. Write a tax to calculate. Calculate. Calculate average average on column sales amount and table name is sales data and press enter let's see So this is the DAX and this is the some explanation and let me copy this. Control C and I will go to Power BI. New majors. And I will say here. Average. Sales. And I will. Paste this. And let me add a one data card. And let me bring this major here, averages. So my average sales is 1.3 kk. Now let me ask another questions. Little difficult. I will say Create a DAX Create a DAX major major to calculate calculate the sum of the column sales amount sales amount and table name is sales data where country country equal to Canada. So let me press enter and let's see what it is generating. So here you can see sum x 
filter on sales data where the country is a equal to Canada and sum of sales amount. So let me paste here. Let me copy. Sorry. Copy from here and let me paste in Power BI. I will create another major. New major. And I will say country cells. Country cells. And I will paste it here. So it is now two equal to. So let me delete one. And let me bring this major into another data card. So here I will say country major where it is. Country cells, sorry. So you can see 14.46 millions. This this is for Canada country. Now here you can see in the my data table. Uh, I have a sales date and I will try to find out the month and year from the sales date. So let me write another one. So I will write. Write a DAX. DAX. Expression. To. To find out. Month. And year from column name sales date sales date column and table name is sales data so let's see So it's saying format sales data table name sales date MMYY. So let me copy and paste this. And I will go to data table and I will add here one column. New column. I will give name to this month sorry month year equal to and i will paste it here there is a some problem like you know double equal to let me remove this here now this is the if you can see the data type is the text. So let me convert into a date. So we'll convert into a date. And here we will select. Month and year. And let me go back to Power BI report and let me add a. Line chart. Sorry. And I will use this column month and year column on X axis. And after that. I will use a average my average sales. And I will say make it as it is. So you, here you can see the trend line and these two the month and year. This expression I have generated using a chat GPT. And the, you know that average sales is also generated by chat GPT. Now let me try to find out. Year only. So let me go to this. I will copy this. And I will paste it here and I'll make a modification instead of. 
month and year, I will say year. So let's see. So it is generating. So it, this year function, year function and sales date, sales data and column name is sales days. Let me paste here in Power BI and we'll see that. Let me go to data table and I will add a column here again, new column. And I will see here. So you can see here, year. So that's all for this video. I request you to please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.